As a business owner, it can be really disappointing and disheartening when you do receive negative feedback on social media. Um, after all, you know, putting in that hard work, delivering an exceptional level of service to your customers or, or clients. Um, and as frustrating as it can be, um, it's really important that you respond to that negative feedback. And there's a way and means of doing that. And that's what this video is going to cover. You might ask yourself, well, why is it so important that I respond to that negative feedback? And the reason being is because it forms a large part of reputation management and protecting your brand. And actually responding to that negative feedback can have such a positive impact for your business. Also, by responding to that negative feedback, old, new and potential customers can see uh, and understand your business ethics better and can almost also see how much you value opinion. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through some really simple steps to follow which will make sure that you ace uh, responding to negative feedback. And the first thing that we're going to look at is how quickly you respond. And this is crucial. Really, you need to be responding to negative feedback within 24 to 48 hours of it being posted on social media. Okay, so 24 to 48 hours is really the time frame that you need to be aiming for. The next step is to acknowledge the customer complaint. And here, you need to keep hold of your emotions. Whilst it'd be really easy, you know, when you're angry, when you're frustrated, to bite back if you like, you need to keep hold of those emotions and not let them overspill publicly. But also to look at the complaint objectively. So you need to acknowledge the complaint. Okay, this goes without saying really, but you also need to apologize and empathize. And the reason being is it demonstrates good customer service. And a measure of good customer service is how well and how often you respond to negative complaints or to negative feedback. Believe it or not, a sign of good customer service isn't how well, you deliver the service, how often you deliver that service in, in, in a good way, but it's how you deal with it when it isn't as up to scratch or as up to, uh, up to where it should be, if you like. Okay, so it's apologizing and empathizing. Okay, again, goes without saying, but you should also take responsibility. After all, something must have gone wrong somewhere along the line. Um, otherwise, uh, the person wouldn't have chosen to, to leave the negative feedback or comment. So you need to, to shoulder that responsibility. You also need to provide an explanation if needed. And here, it's really important that you don't make excuses because that can actually make the situation even worse. So, for example, if there was a delay in your product getting to the customer or your client and you can provide an explanation as to why there was a delay, it would always be useful to do that um, rather than make excuses and, and kind of show, uh, pass the blame on or pass the book if you like to somebody else, okay? And this is speaking from experience, this next point is taking the conversation offline the person has chosen to, uh, to uh, vent their frustration in a, public, in a public way, in a public forum, uh, particularly on social media or on, on one of the review platforms. But it's always good to take that conversation away 
from the public pro, uh, forum and to have that conversation in a private uh, in a private way. So it may just be as simple as responding to a complaint and saying, you know, we're really sorry to hear that you've had this experience. And as I said, if you're able to provide an explanation, you can do so. But to take the conversation away from the, the public forum, you could say something as simple as, could you please send us a private message? Um, we need some more details and we'll look into this for you or would you mind giving us a call? And that's a good way of, of doing that. So to take the discussion um, offline, ideally. Okay, and finally, and this is the most important part, it's to make it right. If the issue can be fixed, then do everything that you can in your power to fix it. And that will stand you in good stead for the future. So it's as simple. If the issue can be fixed, fix it. Hopefully these tips, these pointers have been useful. Should you receive negative feedback on social media, on a review platform, if you follow these very simple basic steps, Hopefully you'll be able to respond in a professional way that will stand you in good stead and it won't cause any damage to your brand.